Okay, today we're going to do a demo for you on an Okamoto rotary grinder. This is a model RPG-6. Takes a 14-inch grinding wheel with a 5-inch bore, inch and a half uh, maximum width there. Here is your chuck controller for your chuck uh, operator's panel. The hydraulics basically on this machine are for your downfeed mechanism. Uh, you have your up and down here. It's uh, synced along with this wheel here. This is your in-feed dial where you'd actually make your settings for uh, how many thousands you want to take off and uh, when it gets to zero it's going to go into a spark out mode. So you would loosen these outer things and set your dial once you uh, established your, your part. So what you'd want to do obviously is we get the hydraulics running. We start our rotary chuck. And down here is a potentiometer to increase or decrease the speed of that chuck. You've got your longitudinal table here. It's moving from the park position. After the cycle is over and it does its spark out, it will always go to the park position. So now we're coming up to the work area in between the two stops I have set here. And as we go between the two stops in the grinding cycle, we're going to feed down at the inner, inner position and in the outer or here and here or you can set it to feed only on the outside or only on the inside or in, a, in my case I have it feeding on both sides. So now you're also going to notice here if you got a good eye that this slows down a little bit as it gets toward the center and speeds up again as it gets to the outer the outer portion of the chuck. That's the peripheral speed uh, Okamoto does that purposely so that the parts that are being ground in here are getting ground at the same uh, feet per sur surface feet per minute as the ones on the outside. It's a pretty good idea. Um, when we're ready to start our down feed, we press that button there and you'll see that we start to feed. That amount can be adjusted with this thimble up here and make it more or make it less. So I'm feeding now at both reversals of the table. Okay, I don't have the wheel on. I don't want to have to talk over. Let me start the wheel. Now we got our grinding wheel on. And in a couple of more strokes, we're going to come down to zero. Now when it gets to zero, it's going to stop feeding. And it's going to start doing however many spark out passes that we've selected here. I've got selected just one spark out pass, which means that it'll go over the work and back again one time. So now the feed has stopped, and we're just going back and forth over the work to spark out. Now when the cycle is over, and as soon as you get beyond this stop here, we're going to automatically stop the chuck and stop the grinding wheel. And this is going to move to its park position so that the parts can be unloaded. The machine also comes with a paper band uh, coolant system that we'll show you in the photos on our website. Electrical cabinet. Everything is nice and in order in here. Like I said, it's two, 220 volts, 208. What's marked on here, we're running it at 220 hand lubrication pump uh, for your column. The table ways are lubricated automatically uh, as its machine is running. This drive and this drive, the chuck and the table drive are both DC drives, uh, DC motors driving. That's nice and, and smooth and nice and quiet. Uh, we also have a uh, rapid, uh, rapid, uh, let's see, gotta come off of that. Wrap it up and down for the wheel. And down again. So you would move your table in, you work underneath the wheel, you'd use your down feed hand wheel to come in there and touch off on your workpiece, and then you'd set your dial here to take off another four, five, ten, whatever amount of a stocker there is, and we start the cycle. Um, up and down one more time, okay. That's up, and that's down.